What's up guys, Footbig here and welcome to the channel and today we are going to look through League SBCs and specifically the Connaball League SBCs. I've had a lot of people asking me recently, how do I do it like three times a day? How am I doing it so quickly? Um, as a lot of people know, I'm currently under house arrest for like 7 to 14 days. I've shown a lot of symptoms of this bloody virus. Um, so I want to give myself something to do over the next couple of days. I don't exactly know when this video is going to come out because I want to try and put it together as best I can showing you exactly how I do it. I'm in the middle of writing a proper guide, um, but I want to document it on a video as well because I think a lot of people work better with the visual representation rather than having to read through a load of things. You can sort of listen to me in the background. Um, sort of think of me as like a Richard not Richard Attenborough, a David Attenborough, as you're doing the League SBCs and I'm there talking through it. But yeah, that's enough of that. Let's jump on over to the League SBC screen and I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to leave a couple of links in the description of websites that I will always have open while I'm doing this in case I do happen to get stuck because um, not all the time do I use the same uh, league. Because, no, not the same league, the same team. So if I write down a team, um, say for instance I'm doing the Libertadores final I've got a team that I know I can use but sometimes in the pack before I could pack say a 78 rated goalkeeper I want to put that goalkeeper into that team because it'll reduce the cost so straight away I can drop a rating from somewhere else so that's when you need to look at what players are available for that league so you can sort of pick and mix basically what you're going to put into that SBC so I'll, uh, I'll leave some links in the description to the websites that I always have, hope, uh, always have open. So when I want to do a little bit of a pick a mix, then I can. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to bring you over to the screen I am looking at because I may as well just show you now while we're here. So if we jump over to the computer screen, what I've got here is on Footbin, um, I've got opened up, I've got the um, Argentinian League, the uh, Colombian League, the Chilean league and then at the moment I'm doing the Libertadores but obviously you can change this by just going to leagues typing in CON and changing that to Sudamericana and then also changing the version from Libertadores to Sudamericana uh, and that's all you do on um, all the other ones as well so you just change version to Sudamericana depending on which league you're doing now I'll always have these open so I can just easily see, say I need a right back for the South African League, I can quickly have a look, well left back, we've just clicked on left back. Um, so say it straight away, if I need a left back I can just look quickly and I can go, ooh I need that one, blah blah blah. And it's a lot easier than delving through just looking for left backs because sometimes it's hard to find because you can't search for them as a special card which is an absolute nightmare. Um, a little tip for that is if you add them to your watch list, um, you then can compare price. Uh, and it will just show up those special cards so sometimes that can help uh, if you've got a certain card that you always use in a solution uh, I've got a certain card that I always use at centre back which is Lopez so I've got him saved on my watch list whenever I want to buy him I'll buy like five at a time uh, I'll compare price I'll find the five cheapest buy them send them to my transfer list use one and then send another one to the club and so on and so forth so they're the things that I have open uh, I'm going to put together the first team and I'm sure sort of going to uh, talk you through uh, doing one full league SBC and uh, I'll try and get you doing it a little bit quicker um, and help you out if you are struggling a bit because I'm getting a lot of messages because um, I was talking to Nepenthes uh, about this when he was streaming about it the other day. I've been doing this um, since these Condoball leagues came out. I know he started to try and do things a little bit quicker, incorporating the web app and things. He's obviously got a lot bigger following than me and talking to him about this on Twitter um, directed a lot of traffic to my page uh, and a lot of people asked me do I know how to do it so I thought I would just put my input in there as well to maybe help a few people out so I will see you over on the squad building screen. So guys I'm going to be building these on the web app because I just find it a lot easier than fiddling about and I've got used to doing it on the web app. Um, I am starting off with the final, we're doing Comfortable Libertadores, go down to final uh, and what I tend to do is I will mash up the Argentine League and the Libertadores League. If I change the cards here you'll see we've got this side Libertadores, this side is Argentinian and then basically what I have done is filled in the blanks and to fill in the blanks I have got the four um, pages that we talked about. So all I did was I filled in the players um, and 
basically the only reason I'm doing this longer stage is for the final. It's the hardest one to get done in terms of rating. So you just want to clear the things that you've got already in the club. Uh, it's saved on coins. So it's a bit fiddly to do um, this one at first. Um, just put that down there. But I filled this in. We go over and we'll buy these players and we can just search them here straight away. Right, what I will do, I won't bother being economic about this. I'll just search for the cheapest one and we'll buy it um, for the purposes of this video. So we'll look for one at around a thousand coins. Yeah, I'll just take, there we go, a thousand coins. You can obviously bid, you probably get about five, six hundred coins on bid. Um, this guy, I'm pretty sure he's a little bit more expensive. 1100 there by sent to my club. Now, he loses that one chemistry point because I bought him. Pretty sure I should be able to uh, to fiddle around and get the players on chemistry. Right, there we go, guys. Um, I messed up a little bit there because I'm trying to do things so quickly for you, but it was easy enough to change. Because um, I had a 60 rated uh, striker in the team. Um, it was massively bringing down the chemistry. Now, I know for a fact you can get this guy for like 700 coins, but again, for the benefit of the video, I'm just going to buy the cheapest one that I come across quickly. Come on, give me a cheap one. There, 900 coins, we'll take that. Send to my club, and then Rojas. What are we going to take you for here, buddy? Bound to be one for around 1,000 coins. Knocking about, here we go, 1,000. There we go, so we'll take that, and that is that done. Now, it was fiddly because we're mixing together two leagues. Uh, and the only reason I've done this, like I said, uh, was because I'm mixing two leagues together to clear the high rated cards to get the hardest part done. It's gonna be completely different for you. I had a portion, I had this left back, I had the center back. It might be different to you. You might have the striker and a center midfielder and you just need to piece them bits together, get them out of your club. What we'll do, we'll submit that, claim rewards, and we're going to jump over to the semi-final and now we can do this one from scratch together so i'll uh, i'll put pieces together and i'll see you in the next clip so we're going to do this one as quick as we can from scratch because i want to show you just how efficient it can be we've got the goalkeeper add player pasted his name in and we're just going to start here now the squad that we've got to build is 74 rated so essentially what i want to do is just plow through we're going to go position right back we want to find the cheapest right back which we can find there which says is 900 coins but he's only a 59 rated so i would ideally want to stay away from that um toledo we're going to take there uh, stick him in at right back and you can time this and see how long it's going to take us to piece um, a team together uh center backs now i i know already from the top of my head I can go to Siglieri and Lopez. I think Lopez is a 77 rated, so he might be on there. Maxime Lopez. It would be, wouldn't it? It would be the other one. So I'll just nip over and get his first name. Um, where is he? Lissandro Lopez. It always is. Whenever there's two names on th on the app, you always pick the one that you don't want. Everyone knows this. It's like a rule of thumb. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the left back because if I get every position right, I can just fit any player in there because I will already have the chemistry. Um, so now we're going to look for our central position players. So we go over here. Um, we've got um, Marcone. So we're going to add him in. Now, sometimes it can just be fiddly when you're trying to do things quickly on the web app, which can be a bit of a pain. But we've got Mark Home, and then we've got, um, we're going to go with Diaz, just because he is, um, well, just because, yeah, Diaz. Um, go over back to the web app here. Marcelo Diaz, 80 rated. I don't know if any of you did his SBC for that Marcelo Diaz. He's actually very, very good. And then last but not least, we are going to go with Enzo Perez. So we'll add Enzo Perez in here. Uh, where is he? 79 rated. And now we're going for the right-sided players. So position.
position, right-sided players. These will be perfectly fine. At this point, we could probably start dropping down the rating a little bit, but at 75 rated, they are cheap enough. You just want to keep an eye on that. If you can start dropping the rating to save yourself a few coins, by all means, do that. Um, so at the end of the day, we want to save time, but we also want to save money. Pretty sure this guy sits bitch cover or something. Let's jump over and see. There's a striker. Where is it? Ah, I, was, I was close. I was close. So there we go. Sviatic. There we go. I know he's cheap. And then on the left side, we go position, left mid. Um, see, a lot of these start to get expensive now. So this is what you want to do. The left mid, a lot of them are looking quite expensive, but I've got the left back position open. So what you can do, we'll have a look at left back. And is there any ones here that are quite cheap? Uh, Monzon, 700 coins. I don't mind taking him for 700 coins. And then what we can do is fit him in there. Monzon, 700 coins, happy days. Now I've already got my chemistry. I can literally put any player I want in there. It will be perfectly fine. Uh, I know I can probably just look in the club. If we go to add player and we go to league, Argentine league. That's the wrong one, Carl. Argentine league, my club, any position, search. I've literally just got to find anyone. Nependez has just gone live. Um, so you literally find anyone here. I have a right wing, happen to add him in. And there we go, straight away, 77 rated. I'm gonna go and buy all these players and I'm gonna show you how much I did manage to buy them for. And this time I am gonna try and do it for the cheap, cheapest possible price that I can to show you that it can be done for a cheap price. So guys, we have completed the semi-final. Um, the two players that I already had left over in my club were the goalkeeper and the right wing. Uh, the rest of the players I went and picked up, uh, we got Montiel for 1,200, uh, Torsiglieri for 1,100, Lopez 700, the left back I actually had in my club as well, apologies, uh, 650 for Marcone, 750 for Diaz, 650 for Perez, uh, 700 for Solari, and Svitachi uh, is 850. So as you can see from all that, the uh, the biggest expense basically is the defenders, like the fullbacks. Uh, but still, I think that's coming in, totaling up on top of my head about like six, seven K. Uh, if we did actually log on over on Footbin, so let's actually do that together now. We're gonna go to active challenges uh, and we're gonna go to players. Um, Libertadores and we're just gonna have a look how much this says the semi-final will be so it says here the semi-final should be 10.2k we've just done it for around 7k so we've saved ourselves 3k on what footbin says because you don't listen to footbin solutions so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna submit that and I'm gonna go through I'm gonna finish the rest of the league I'm gonna take screenshots of all the teams I'm gonna come down to the um, last couple of team couple of teams uh, where I need to talk to you next because you've got the um, I'll show you here if you go to stage one max silver and that is when it starts to become a little bit more difficult because the lower the rating actually the higher the price is on a lot of the players when it comes to fitting them in for chemistry so um, I'll get the rest of this done and we'll jump back over when we hit their max silver requirements come to think of it guys just as we jump onto the quarterfinals what you could do if you want to do it even quicker is before you um, submit the semi-final team uh, because the semi-finals are 4 3 3 uh, you can go through and you can buy the uh, whole defence again. Uh, you can buy the two wide players, the central midfielder and the two strikers. You can go and buy one of all of them again. Um, just send them to your transfer list um, before you submit the other one and it'll make it a lot uh, quicker. And then all you'll need to do is uh, replace... Um, what would you have to replace? One of the central midfielders uh, with another striker and then you will have the quarterfinals done. So that's just another way of doing it. Just once you've got a squad, go and buy two of the same squad and just fit it in where necessary. And then obviously the last team we had came in, I think was 76 rated and this one you only need 72. So what you can do is you could go and buy two really cheap 
low rated strikers uh, and it just breaks that cost down a little bit more and that is just another thing you can do to bring the cost down and the um, efficiency uh, quicker so guys just another quick tip what you can do uh, because this formation is the round of 16 it's the last formation where you can use the actual gold cards and there's three center backs center back is probably the most expensive of the things to buy along with the full back what i tend to do here is i'll go to the colombian league and get center backs because these are around 500 coins each compared to if you do them with the argentinian league where they'd be around a thousand coins each and then you can get these forward players and midfielders that are a lot cheaper that you've already seen around 800 coins and they're obviously higher rated so it pushes the rating up i've got two slots left and i'm already at that 70 rated so this is just another tip um, what you can do you can look at triangles as well if you find something where there's say a cheap uh, colombian left back center back and central midfielder put a little triangle in there you've got your 30 chem and that's sorted and you can do the same on the other side you've got your 30 chem sorted little triangle there 30 chem sorted straight away you've got 90 chem there straight away you've just got to fill in the little two in the middle there and you're sorted that's just another little tip you can do uh, mix and match between the leagues you've got four leagues to choose from so it just makes it that little bit easier when the squad rating starts to come down uh, like i said i'm going to jump over to the max silver squads now and i'll see you there so guys going on to the group stage this is the um if you're working from the final down this is the first uh, sbc where you can use a max of silvers uh, when it gets to this stage the uh, league that i like to uh, use is the chilean league um, i find that the chilean league is best uh, for the mid sort of range uh, so say 66 uh, 65 66 up to say 70 and then uh, colombia i like to use for the uh, for the lowest but obviously you can always do a complete mix of the leagues if you want to take the time and you can do little triangles or if you look at the screen uh, now we've got the the four positions there you could have four from the chilean league there as four strong links you could have four here from the argentinian league and then uh, mix and match just to get that chemistry in there but uh, i'm going with chile here because i find this uh to be the best um i'm gonna get this completed i'm gonna get the rest of these done um and uh i will see you basically at the end now uh, one thing um i completely forgot to showcase is the actual Libertadores league now i find this best to use during big pack supply um i use these for like the chili league i use these between 65 and 70 i find that's the uh sort of good ground uh we've got a 442 here uh, i'll just have a little look in the club to see if we've got any uh, from these leagues so we're doing the libertadores um i've actually got well i've only actually got three here under the uh rating we'll just add them because obviously we can only go up to silver so we can't use Villalba. but the good thing about this is we actually know when we go to the libertadores league only these cars are going to show up so let's go over here let's go to libertadores uh, right, we want central players, so if we go to start off at CDM, get rid of that, put our parameters at say 600 coins, search, there we go, we'll take him, um, and we'll go to say central midfield, nothing there, there we go, we'll have him, 650, happy days, uh, and then we can just have a quick check, if we go back to the league, SBC, third stage center mid so we'll add in them players that we've just bought it's a cdm wasn't it there he is so we now know we need a goalkeeper all the defense and a striker so if we go back over striker search there's absolutely loads of strikers so i'll just put the coin total right down to say 400 there's nothing 450 there we go i'll take that 64 rated there that's happy days and now we can go up here to defenders which just makes it a bit easier there we go bye i'll have him right back for 450 that's nice and then go up to 500 um what we will do is we'll just take another right back to play at center back and now i need a left back and one center back so let's have a little 
saves through. The one thing I have noticed doing uh, using this league is it's very right back heavy. As you can see, uh, they're all right backs. So we go up to 600, and then if it's still like this, just showing all these right backs, it'll probably be worth our while uh, changing the parameters to left back or centre back. So just to show you, we'll do that just to make it that bit easier. So right back is the one that we don't. So centre back, here we go. We've got a few here. There we go. 68 rated, 550 coins, send to my club. And while I'm here, I'll buy another one for the next SBC. So I'll just buy all of these. So I didn't get that one. Uh, for the next SBC, because I know I've got two more of this set. And then left back, 600 coins. Now, obviously, you can bid on these. You can do it a lot quicker uh, than I'm doing it. All I'll do, I bought a duplicate by mistake. I'll list him back up for 650. So then after tax, I won't actually lose anything. Now we can go back to our SBC. I think we actually need the goalkeeper as well, don't we? Uh, third stage, defense. So what you could actually do is now you could go squad builder, league, Conor Libertadores. Now that'll fill that in. Now obviously I happen have all of these special cards so we'll take them out put all of them in now we got an extra left back there we can put there we go and get a goalkeeper so any goalkeeper at all this will be absolutely easy to find we'll probably find one for 500 we'll probably find one for a lot less actually so we'll go back 400 there we go 250 ah we didn't get him so we'll search again. There we go. 250. Did we get this one? We didn't. So sod it for the sake of this. We'll take anyone at 500. And there we go. Send to my club. SBC. And that is how quickly you can do it. If you do it with the actual Libertadores League. So there we go. Uh, I'll go and finish the other two. And this time I will actually see you when we complete the league. So guys, I'm just waiting for these last two players. I'm getting them on bid to finish off the Argentine final. Um, the Argentine final, you don't need me to talk you through that. It's absolutely self-explanatory and easy. Um, I've still screenshotted the, uh, the team when it's finished. So you can see it in the guide, but um, it's self-explanatory and easy. And you can probably just use footbin for that one because the cards are discard no matter what. So we go back over to the Commodore League, scroll down Argentina. We have completely done it. I am going to take a little screenshot here just for the guide. There we go. We are going to save that and I'm just going to call it Lib Final Arch. There we go. And that is that done. We submit that, submit anyway, claim our rewards. There we go. And we get our reward and you can absolutely blast through this now you know the leagues to use for the SBCs you can go and wear your own little triangles um, it is really easy and if you can get Lopez Perez and Bustos from the Sudamericana that is a brilliant little triangle uh, you could also get this Cardozo and Dominguez from the Sudamericana they link well as well uh, if, League of the, if Player of the Month Mbappe comes out, you can do this method to grind Player of the Month Mbappe. Um, I'm going to do Alexandro. Uh, he's 386 rated squads. If I put Lopez, Perez and Bustos, that's 388s. That instantly gives me 30 chemistry and 388s, which means I can probably fill the rest of the squad with 84s, maybe 185, and I'll probably have... Um, I will probably have... Um, what did I just say I was going to do? Alexandro. I will probably have Alexandro nice and easily. So guys, that is that. It was a really quickly put together video just to showcase because so many people are asking me and I thought this would be a lot easier uh, to put it into you uh, via a video so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I will write a proper specific guide 
Um, I'm going to put uh, links in the description, like I said, of the pages that I use and what league I suggest to use for which um, formation and rating, etc. Um, but the actual um, like league guide that I'm going to do, I'm going to do it on a um, Google Drive document. Uh, and what I will do is on my Twitter, the link to my Twitter will be in the description as well. I will pin it to my profile on Twitter in the next couple of days so you can see um, anytime you want exactly how to do that. Um, thank you for coming along to the video. Um, I really appreciate it. As you know, the channel's been quiet uh, recently because of health conditions, etc. Um, if you hear me breathing heavily um, in the video, it's because my chest is really bad because I'm asthmatic and obviously symptoms of this virus. But I'm really appreciating all the support I'm getting on, on Twitter. The, um, the messages coming in have just been absolutely lovely. I really appreciate it. We've got a good little little like family connection going over on the uh, on the Twitter page. Everyone helping each other out. So if you want to jump over and follow me, it's foot underscore big. Like I said, link in the description. I know a hell of a lot of you people are watching and you're not subscribed to the channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you'll be notified when I do go, uh, when I have uploaded a new video. And um, I will see you in the next one. Until then, peace.